Hello, my name is Henry Shuck. I'm the founder and CEO of Zoom Info. And on today's In Your Corner, I'm gonna demonstrate one of my favorite integrations with our partner, G2. And Sydney Sloan, their chief marketing officer, recently called me out on social and said, Henry, why don't you show how G2 integrates with Zoom Info? And I am more than excited to do that. So let me show you how that works. If you're a marketer, if you're a demand gen professional, if you're a salesperson looking for the hottest leads, this integration with G2, which if you're a technology company, most of you are using G2, your marketing departments have invested in it. Let's get that integrated in front of your salespeople. And for marketers, let's give you the ability to integrate G2, build an audience, and then start doing marketing against that audience. This is gonna be a really fun share. So let's dive right into it. I'm here in Zoom Info. The first thing I'm gonna show you is just our co-pilot interface. You should think of this as a ranked listing of your top target accounts. We're looking inside of your CRM. We're looking at your total addressable market. We're also bringing in Zoom Info data for your full total addressable market right here at your fingertips. If I'm in Copilot, I can already see G2 signals coming through to my Copilot feed. So if I'm looking here, I've got Huntington National Bank. I can see that they have G2 views. They looked at competitors. They looked at a comparison of Zoom Info. I would have no visibility into that if it's just sitting in a silo over with some demand gen professional who has it but that's not being passed on to sales. So sales reps can get Copilot and start getting these G2 signals directly inside their feed. We're using it to rank accounts that are most likely to be in a buying process. If I scroll down here, I see another G2 view at 3M. Um, if I keep coming down at Dell, I see a G2 view. At Cintas, I see a G2 view. These are all at my fingertips to ranking my top accounts. But let's say I just wanna build a custom audience, a specific audience that tells me when a customer or a prospect is visiting a G2's page and showing a spike on G2 buyer intent. No problem. Here I am right here in advanced search. I'm going to look for G2. G2 is going to come up. I'm going to come down here into sales signals. I'm going to say in the last 30 days, I want to see anybody who's spiking on Zoom Info sales. And specifically, I'd love to know when they're visiting our pricing page. Got it. I only care about people who are in the United States for this. So I've got US uh, selected as a specific state that they visited from. But I don't want every buyer. I actually just want people who fit my ideal customer profile. So here in buying groups, I've already set up a couple different buying committees, sales decision makers. I'm just gonna choose sales decision makers here because I want that list to be specific to sales decision makers. I've got that specific list here and I wanna go one step further. I wanna cross-reference, this is 3,300 companies. I wanna actually cross-reference that against people who visited my website also in the last week or the last 30 days. So I set up in Zoom Info websites, which identifies anonymous visitors to your website, I set up a tag of all of the companies that visited my website in the last week. And I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna type in tags, and I get this company tags. I'm just gonna come down here into the private tags I'm going to choose visited last three months. And now I've got that intersection of companies that have visited a G2 pricing page who've also visited my website in the last week. And I'm looking now at all of those companies that have visited my G2 page that have a buyer in my buying group and who visited my website in the last week. This is an incredibly powerful list. Think about all of that that you have at your fingertips. And you know what? I'm gonna go a step further. I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna choose my Salesforce fields. And I'm gonna say, you know what? I actually don't want everybody. I specifically want people who are not existing customers of Zoom Info. So I'll come in here, I'm gonna choose accounts, account type in Salesforce. And I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna choose customer, I'm going to say not customer. And now I'm going to get all of those accounts that have visited a G2 pricing page that came to our website in the last week that visited a pricing page on G2 in the last 30 days. I've got my buying committee right here at my fingertips. And so now I have all of those different sales leaders at those companies, sales decision makers. I can select this. I can start a marketing campaign to them immediately. I can put them directly inside of a sales flow. I can push them to sales loft. I can push them to outreach. I can push them to Marketo, or I can just take these contacts and immediately start a marketing campaign against them, specifically a display ad campaign, an email marketing campaign. But I've got all of these now at my fingertips, the companies that visited my G2 pricing page, 
who also visited my website in an anonymous way in the last week. And I have this really tight, specific audience showing buyer intent. If you haven't integrated G2 into Zoom Info, you're missing these signals. And it's crazy to be missing these signals. So integrate G2 inside of Zoom Info, start building these really precise micro audiences that you could do a lot with. We're super proud of our partnership with G2 and there's so much you can get out of it if you're a marketing professional or a sales professional. Get signed up for this right now. Reach out to your account manager at Zoom Info. We'll get this set up for you. Thank you very much.